Hey, hello everybody, this is Pace Time. I'm going to shoutcast you for you today. This is part of the uh, Asian IEM qualifiers. So we're going to have a frenetic array at the top here, facing off against Matload. We've got Frey, Titi Domu, Dirge, Snoopy, Kingpin, Obi, and Heaven's Curse for Frey. And uh, Flobby, Derek, Froxan, Ryuxin, and Garrigan. So Udyr, Cog, Mon, King, Clank, Malphite, Morgana, and Garen, Brand, Ez, Janna, and Amumu for the... For Frey and Matt Load, respectively, gonna get right into this game here. That loaded extremely quickly. Good to see all these players equipped with very nice computers, all ready to do work. So, looks like uh, we're gonna be looking for a level 1 fight here. Very strong level 1 here for Frey, most definitely. Between, uh, I mean, even with Malphite slow, Morgana snare, uh, Udyr stun, Gangplank slow, and just the, the pure damage output of, of Cogmo at level 1 is really, really strong. And it's interesting to point out about this comp, it's basically, it's basically looking to make Cogmo kill everyone. So you know you have a uh, good, good uh, disruptive ultimates with Gangplank, Malphite, and Morgana's ultimate as well. Morgana and and Udi is really good at disrupting by just running around. Oh, here comes the one fight though. Udi is coming into the stun and dark biting coming on down to Garen. Poor Garen's gonna be absolutely crushed. So Brand Pillar coming out nice there, and Malphite does pick up first blood, no problem. Gonna come on here, gonna invade the blue. They've got a huge advantage here. Mumu might get caught. Watch out, Mumu. Mumu, of course. Really, really, really dependent on that blue, and that's an incredible invasion from Fnatic Array there. Really strong play. As I said, the level 1 fight, I mean, between Malphite Q, Hogmore damage, Gangplank slow, Udyr stun, Morgana binding. What are you gonna do? You're gonna die, that's what you're gonna do. So, for Flobby on Garen, Derek on Brand, Frox on Ezreal, Ruxin on Janna, and Garrigan on Amumu, if I didn't cast them out before. Uh, Friendly Crow, of course, the winners of the last cybergamer.com.au one, one day, one day, one day, one day competition. In the winner of um, this is the qualifies for I am New York. So you don't get you don't qualify for New York if you win here. You are, but the winners get the the, the winners get the, the chance to play for a spot in New York, and that'll be uh, that'll be soon, I believe. Hopefully, I'll be casting that as well for you guys. But yeah, just on casting the replays here, given to me by uh, the captain of Frenetic Ray Kingpin here on support gangplank. One of the one of the things that's been popping up recently. I think part of the support gangplank is that uh, gangplank's just such a strong champion. So if you can get him in any capacity, then you might as well. Um, I'm interested by the Malphite pick here, but really, really nice steal there from Frey. And the experience from the early team fight is actually going to give Udi level 2 despite not killing all the killing the last lizard, so that's really, really good for him there. And he's going to go off. Um, Udi, of course, absolutely devastating in the jungle, and any advantage he gets is just going to be just nice. So, we've got a Gangplank and Cogmo laning against Ezreal Janna, which is a really nice lane. We've got Morgana vs. Brandon, made a Malphite vs. Garen in top, so. As always, the duo lane in League of Legends is usually the more interesting one because there are four people in the lane instead of two. And the jungler, of course, bounces everything out. So Gangplank, look, he's just going to uh, try and harass here. This, they're going to play this as pokey as possible. So between Gangplank and Kog'Maw, they've got a ton of really, really strong poke. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they how they land against... Whoops. How they land against... How they land against Janna and Ezreal, who are also have very good poke. Janna and Ezreal, of course, um, you have a highly mobile carry. who does a lot of damage early with his Q in Ezreal. And uh, Janna's shield not only protects your carry, but gives him additional AD, which makes the harass even stronger. But uh, Gangplank's... Actually, is that a Doran's Blade? No, okay. I thought it was a Doran's Blade, that must have been Ezreal. Yeah, Ezreal's got a Doran's Blade there. Yeah, really, uh, really sweet stuff coming out here. Darn again, I mean, Kingpin just going, going to town with these Qs. And this, this harassment is just insane. I mean, this is, this is part of why I think support Gangplank is, is so strong, is that really strong early. I mean, the fact that you're out poking Ezreal Janna is pretty impressive, and it's really hard, unless you're an absolutely tip-top Janna player. To, uh, to, to prevent all this harass just by shielding. It's possible, I mean, you can see the, the particle travel in the air. You'll see King Ping going after Lord Dragon there. Ping's gone up in the top. Malphite has pushed Garen on the top. I wonder if there'll be a gank. Guess not. Come back down the bottom lane. Sorry for the crazy uh, Storm Observer fail. Storm I guess Freak isn't this. I guess Tasteless is actually a good Observer. I'm going to stop talking about other stuff now. Nice shield there from Janna there. She actually only finally got shield at level 2. She did have Q for the level 1 fight. That's kind of why uh, Gangplank's harass has been so effective. Res Moral, of course, will give uh, will give Cogmore uh, attack damage as well, and move speed, which is really valuable on a on a carry like Cogmore, who's very slow with, with virtually no escapes. In fact, with no escapes, only a slow. My fault they're picking up Moomoo as it comes in a gank. Sorry, I missed that one. Oh no! Wow, my fault actually counter jungling, finding a Moomoo who's already low from having his blue stolen and taking him out. And Udi is going to come in here to support. Well, my fault they're just going to go to absolute town. They might even take this red buff. That's insane. Sorry, I missed that one, guys, but. Malphite, I guess it was a CV or, oh yeah, it must have been a CV because there's no ward there and just 
Oh wait, no, is there a ward in that bush? No, there is a ward in that bush. Love that ward there. There's a ward in that bush there. I just found a Mimi who was low and Malphite uh, seeing that brilliant communication there from Frey. And Udi are going to take this red buff as well. That's That hurts. That hurts a lot. Anyway, this uh, the landing continues down here as the Gangplank Caress uh, continues. Uh, really, really nice job of actually zoning them out. These... This is a scared Ezreal and a scared Janna, that's for sure. I mean, this is a this is a tough lane to play against. Gangplank's got a lot of health, and he's pretty he's pretty sturdy um, as a support. I suppose we haven't seen a, uh, more Gangplank now, but I, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people have mentioned that Gangplank is a little bit too strong at the moment. I'm surprised it wasn't actually banned. Um, I don't know the bans. I mean, they're getting spotted by CV at his Wolves. I don't actually know the bans for this game, unfortunately, guys. But um, was, there were summons. Obviously, Gangplank was not banned because he's still in this game. And I mean, that's a strong champion. And we don't see Lee Sing, we don't see Nocturne, we don't see Tarek. Maybe there were some of the bans that come out. Um, I know there's a, a good Singed player on Frey. Maybe they're banned Singed. At any rate, uh, Mumu Gang being spotted on a gun. This, this and Mumu is just having an absolute horrendous time trying to jungle in. Honestly, um, I've seen Frey play quite a bit, and they really like to punish Amumus, and this is kind of the reason why you don't see a lot of top teams playing Amumu anymore, and why you don't see people like the odd one, you know, one of the best junglers in the game, plays for Team Solo Mid, um, just doesn't like playing Amumu, because he's if, you, if he's great if you, can, if you can get him to work, but he's just so easily easily punished. So Gangplank does have a little bit of sustain. I guess Cogmo's range is going to allow him to... Uh, Allow him to stay back while Gangplank does all the zoning work for him, as you see, as you see that's going on now. <laughs> Kog'Maw apparently complaining about some internet dying, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh well, just a lag spike. We'll continue on. I'm going to check out Morgana and Brain in mid there. Obviously it's a uh, low replay. I can't see the health bars, unfortunately, but I will try and... Oh, the minions, that's really frustrating. I even can't talk about last hitting, but I'll talk a little bit about what's going on here. Morgana and Brain is, a, is an interesting matchup. Um, Morgana is one of the heroes that has seen an absolute ton of play recently, um, both in both in tournaments I've seen, and by our high level our high level solo queue players as well. And uh, the Rayman actually talked about how good Morgana was, and it's basically that she has a, a sweet skill set. Like the fact that she's really hard to gank because she has life steal from her passive, and her W farms really well, and the fact that she's essentially immune to CC for a short period of time. Um, from her black shield that also reduces magic damage taken just makes her an absolute monster in mid or top as, as top is generally dominated by melee champions uh, Heaven's Curse doing a really nice job of dodging those pillars of flame by the way if you're watching that yeah but uh, Morgana oh Garen and Malphite are gonna, gonna duke it out can't see some health bars we'll see if someone explodes or not oh looks like just some harass going on nothing too special Malphite Malphite did ult there bit of lag going on oh and a flash is he gonna die Crazy Malphite doing stuff, he is gonna die. <laughs> Gotta love the no health bar ganks, they just look so sweet. Oh, and mid here, Morgana and Brain going at it too. Morgana so it looks like it's popping off the chain. Oh, she just got blue buff as well, that's so sick. Uh, Tidomo nicely uh, donating donating his buffs to Morgana there. And this Brand, who looked like he was having trouble already, is, is not gonna get any better for him. So yeah, Morgana basically, I mean, just owns melees by, by you know, having her ult and walking up to them and can't really attack her because you get stunned and take lots of damage and can't really run away because then she's going to bind you and it's going to be all sorts of bad. So yeah, we're going to one of the really strong picks. I mean, she hasn't been touched in ages. Um, I think she had a, a slight buff of many, many patches ago now. But, um, and it's just kind of the thing where people can realize she was good again. Amumi here trying to fend off my gun, but I don't think he's, yeah, he's going to get a binding to the face and probably take a lot of damage. But yeah, Morgana's just one of those champions that, again, I'm surprised not to see banned, because she's just been causing all sorts of problems in mid and top, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next few next few patches to see if any of that changes at all. So Kogma looks like he's gone away. I think he might... He was, let's talk about his net problems before I was mentioning them in the chat. He might actually... Like, it might have actually died, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, Gangplank's just going to last hit with his part lane and, and do his best he can to achieve one there. Converging again on blue. I guess they have the timer fix out. They're going to take it. Gangplank ultimate, they're coming out on the Mumu. Oh, my god, an ultimate just going to miss because of the flash from a Mumu. Udi's going to keep chasing under the tower, though. Dark Binding. Dark Binding. Oh, that's a sweet kill. Really, really nice work from Morgana there, and just dominating, absolutely dominating this game. I mean, Gangplank ult was perfectly timed there to make sure the gank went off. And this poor Amumu, I mean, I've, I've talked about it again, but if you get your jungle stolen as a Amumu, it's it's really hard to recover. You're totally, you're so reliant on having a good clear, I mean, not necessarily having strong ganks, but farming to six as soon as possible, most definitely, and, and trying to trying to get your ultimate up, trying to trying to have that presence in team fights. and oh, if Amumu's being kept kept so well down by, by Frey here, and this is, again, the reason I don't think you see him a lot in competitive play. I'm going to try and have a gank here on, uh, 
on mid, but Gangplank like and Udo are going to think the better of it, given that uh, Jana and Israel are pushing bottom fairly hard. Nice dragon pick up there by Frey as well, I forgot to mention that, but uh, they uh, turned those uh, two kills, I believe, I think it was two kills at blue, into an instant dragon, even even in a 4v5 where their Kog'Maw's, where their carry isn't connected. That's that's some play for you. So really nice stuff. Landing just continuing as normal now. Uh, really action packing, we've had four kills already in ten minutes, so this is the stuff I like to see, this is, this is the good stuff to cast. So again, shout out to Kingpin for uh, happily giving me these replays. And it is nice, so it's nice to cast even with a... Even the slightly, you know, suboptimal replay clan. It's nice to have something, guys. If you don't have low replay, please go and get it so casters like us can uh, can look at your games and even so can look at your own games. It's really important to do that. You know, you got cool stuff on posting YouTube. Forgot to like put fraps on or whatever. Low replay. So that's a uh, low. I'll probably post a link in the description to low replay, given that I use it constantly for all my videos. Anyway, so poor Kogma is still still not here, but seems to be okay. Gangplank gonna last hit it up, get his parlay on. If this goes for any much longer, I think Kogma's gonna have some really big troubles. There's a Philosopher Stone, a couple of words, boots and a potion there for Gangplank as well. A uh, really standard support build, you obviously see uh, gold per turn items on supports, just because uh, they don't get much gold income of their own generally, although Gangplank seems to be farming up a storm while Kogma's not here. But yeah, generally in, in bot, you'll see supports run the... Uh, Run the no farm or gold per 10 items, and even gold quints as well are really good. If we look at Janna here, Janna has a fairy charm which she will be into Philosopher's Stone if she hasn't already. And Morgan's going, oh man, it's missing all the time. Morgan's going up here that, again trying to harass this Amumu. Looks like Udi is alone in a 3v1, but Amumu is really, really low. Just going to miss it there, and Udi's going to continue counter juggling. I think Udi is at the point, I mean, he has his regals, he has um, boots. I think he's at the point where he's able to jungle really quickly and have great sustain. And he's just taking over this jungle, all sides of the jungle, he wants it all. So, no kills there, unfortunately, for either team. But, uh, the Brand and Morgana are going to come at it again, and there's the Morgana ultimate. Black Shield, they're protecting him, and Brand goes, gets absolutely smacked. Morgana's going to take a ton of damage and somehow not die from that turret. Wow. That was just rude. Oh, Dark Planning are coming out. <laughs> Mumu might still be low. <laughs> Trying to come in across as well. Looks like Morgana's probably getting out of there. I can't imagine she gets a whole lot of health left after after taking like three or four tower hits there, but she does almost have a death cap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Needlessly large rod and blasting one and boots one for Morgana. This death cap's gonna come up in a minute or two. About fifteen minutes, I think, and that's pain. Cogmo looks like he has returned now. He is level six, so he isn't too far behind, which is good. Jana and Ezreal, of course, slicing it up. We'll check the CS while we're here. 59 for... Oh, 69 for Kog'Maw. 51 for Ezreal. Considering that uh, he had the lane to himself for a period of time, that's quite surprising. Nice job there. Malphite with 72 to Garen 62. Nice job by Malphite there. And uh, 85 for Morgana and 69 to Brand. So, Frey's soul is a little bit up in CS here. Or oh, all the where the CS matters. Now, look at the jungling race here. This is, this is going to hurt a Mumu. 50 for Udyr. 6. 6 CS for Mumu. Now that might be bugged because I haven't seen a Mumu for a while, but that, if it really is 6, then that's insane, and I'm sure he's up by 20, at least 20 CS, so. Yeah, that's, that just tells you how, how far behind this Mumu is, and again, if you can get a Mumu behind, then you're in trouble. Gankly here coming under Janna, he's going to be, be chomping it up. Nice slows there, eats some oranges to get out, so he's okay. Oh, nice tornado, really sick juke there. He's going to continue the relentless harass, no problem. Doesn't even worry about, doesn't even worry about their CC. He's going to, he's going to gangplank it up. He's gonna shoot some Qs. He's gonna do some damage. This tower almost down, actually. The aggressive, the aggression from Frey here is paying off, and uh, they're able to get this turret super, super low, even with Kogmo not being not being around for a while. Morgana has gone missing. I believe she's got blue buff again. She does indeed. TT and we're doing a really nice job of uh, of giving blue to Morgana. Morgana's coming back into the lane now. I'm sure her ult's up, so we could be seeing Brang in some serious trouble here. Nice black shield through the pillar for the stun. No ultimate though. And she's just juking it up. Ah, oh, there's the ult. Waiting for Brand to use all his cooldowns. Flash that comes out, but it's not going to be far away enough for the stun. Dark Binding and another kill for Morgana. She's got a death cap by now. She's got Sook Boots, needlessly large run at a blasting one, and there's no way she's not going to have a death cap in, in the next minute. King Plank and Kongma, however, going into this turret. King be taking a ton of damage, though. So gotta get out of there. Oh, he's got to decide between the turret and the Ezreal. It's alright, he manages to almost do both. A bit late there from the ult from, the ult from Gangplank, but Kogma might be able to clean it up with his ultimate. He flash ults! Oh. And he's trying so hard to kill the Sashio, but he's not going to get there. A valiant effort. I think a little bit late on the gangplank out there, but uh, that was that was some nice work. And the first tower, of course, goes to Frenetic Array. And looks like they're going to position themselves to steal blue yet again. 
Dragon's probably up in a in a, in a minute and a half too as well. I know Frey like to do it about 10 minutes, so we're probably looking looking for Dragon to come through at 16 minutes and just absolutely just complete control from Frey this game. And Mumi now with apparently 7 CS to Udi's 61. This if you thought if you thought a Mumu was sad before, this is the saddest of a Mumu's. Oh, Brand of course meeting, I believe Morgana in the jungle there. Morgana though, way too powerful at this point, probably has her Rabadons. No, does not have her Rabadons yet. Finally goes down. Udi's gonna clean up though. Moo, Moo and Brand both use their ultimate set of killer. Udi does clean up a, a kill, no problem. Cogma's gonna own this Janna with the help of Udi. And players just, plays trickling in. You don't want to trickle in, kids, because you're gonna get, you're gonna get snapped. <laughs> Looks like a uh, Freya pinging Dragon, so they think it might be coming up soon. You're gonna leave the walls and just let Amumu cry on them, because he is crying right now. He is, he is the saddest of sads. I cannot tell you. Oh, beautiful pink ward there from King Ping taking out this ward there, and they're gonna go, they're gonna jump on the dragon again. They got it even earlier than 16 minutes by the look of things, because it's uh, it's been up now at 15:30, and again another dragon from Friendly Grey. Next one will be up in about 21 minutes, 21 and a half minutes. So look out for that. And let's uh, while well, we have a bit of a lull, let's take a look at the item builds, and it's. We've looked at the CS already, so we've got a Regals and a Recurve. Recurve Bow and Boots 1 for Udi. He's probably going to be building Wits End with that Recurve Bow. A uh, Wits End already for Cogman, that's a really interesting item. I'll have to get back to that one in a second. It's kind of like Malady, I guess, and I don't have too much AP, but I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Gangplank, of course, standard support items. Boots, Wards, Pots, Fossil Stone. He's got a Ruby Crystal there, probably going to build it into Heart of Gold. Malphite got a Heart of Gold of his own. Got a Ninja Tabi already, of course, the Dodge Boots, and gives him armor as well for his E. Uh, chain Vest, which is probably going to be building to Randall's Omen, and it's got a Fade as well. Uh, I guess he's building Trinity Force or Frozen Mount. Frozen Mount will be pretty, pretty sick one. Another, sorry, Mr. One, guys, another gank there onto Amumu. Getting my Freak on. I'm trying to get my Freak on for the next few games. I do have a couple more games to cast as well. These are best of ones, so so that does give a little bit of away, but um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Definitely impressed by the performance so hard. Oh my god, overextending way too hard here. Looks like Brand's going to try and pick up. Missing the pillar completely. The, ult the ult goes nowhere. If he'd waited for the golems, he might have actually got a kill there. I've seen some sick Brand ultimates, by the way. Bounced off neutral creeps before. We're going to really low. Malphite going to come in and try and save people. Brand getting absolutely crushed by Malphite. Morgana just keeps cutting. Just keeps cutting. She has Oracle too. She probably doesn't want to die. Oh, she finally goes down to Garen. And Malphite here left in a 2v1 vs. Jana on Garen. He's pretty low, though. Kingpin comes in. He's going to try and save his teammates, but I think he's already dead. Ezreal flash. Ezreal Arcane shifting over the wall as well. As Udi coming in to maybe play cleanup. Ezreal's going to take a ton of damage, but I don't think he's going to die. There's a Jana and an Amumu now coming in. Garen's gone up back to top lane, but. And level 7 Amumu. <laughs> Even the smells blood. TT Domo. <laughs> getting, getting tornadoed away by Jana, though. Ah, sad times. <laughs> It was nice to see. I I swear I saw the red of Udi's eyes there, <laughs> or the whites, as it were. I don't know what the quotes from guys. Pfft, I don't do movies. I'm a gamer. Anyway, <laughs> back at the item builds, we got a glacial shard was actually the item that Malphite wanted to build, and still got that fade. Probably a frozen out there. Another chain vest for him as well. Uh, Heaven's curse on Morgana, as I said, does now have their rabbit Got that about 15, 16 minutes. Another blasted one. Guess probably building void stuff would be my guess. Got a two Doran's blades and some merc treads for Garen there. Nice, nice job, but a little bit behind. Brand on the triple Doran setup. Which is, is good, but not as good as the, uh... Not as good as that Death Cab, that's for sure. Brand, uh, definitely behind in his lane, but the Dorans will help him, uh, kind of stay as little far behind as possible, if that made sense, so... Um, the Dorans are cost-effective, good stats, so... That'll keep him in this game when he's behind. Morgana lurking around here with Mumu and Janna right near Dragon. I guess they thought about it, but they didn't realize it was already gone. Bit of a... Definitely see Frey closing in for a lot more aggression. This Morgana diving headfirst into their whole team. Good damage around Morgana. She's going to get away. No problem with the Black Shield on her. And Mumu, oh, Mumu ults. That I did not expect. It. Mumu might, uh, Morgana might go down there, but nice flash over the wall. That was probably max range flash as well. That was sick. Just going to get away with a sliver of health. About 250. Malphite picking up another kill. I'm watching this Morgana getting chased by the whole team. It looks like she is going to go down there. But the ultimate's going to do an absolute ton of damage. But she does. Almost gets a kill there on Brand though. That's 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 a death cap and a half. Kingpin picks up nice clean up there on Brand. No problem cleaning up the kill with the ultimate after Morgana died. I mean not ideal there if you want to trade, but it's definitely better than being down a kill. So twelve four now in favor of Fnatic Array, so I think they've got to group up a bit more, though. They definitely have the advantage. I think they're gonna try and press it soon and really try and close this game out about 20, 25 minutes. But we'll have to see. Um they're gonna fall behind if they're gonna if they let I'm not gonna fall behind, but uh, they're gonna 
they're going to close the gap between the two teams if they, if they don't try and push her advantage now. And I would not be surprised to see Fnatic Rowe try and push on a Baron. Seems like Malphite's been split pushing top uh, really nicely with uh, the assistance of some of his teammates. Teammates already two towers down there, and Malphite just doing his thing. I don't really know how uh, top line Malphite's working so well, but since we're doing wonders, here we Garen. I guess uh, the high armor values. And the, uh, the attack suit doesn't do too much. But yeah, you have high armor values, and I guess you just out tank the tanky DPS, no problem. Udi, they're almost getting caught by three members of. <coughs> Malphite gonna come in there and remove me, though. Kingpin. Coming in for some slows, and that was enough to scare them off. Dark Blinding from Organa just missing the arse of Ezreal there. But he's not going to hit anyone. Just missed him, though. Another blue stolen there by Cogwell, who's building uh, another Rico Bell item. Hey, looks like Madrid's. Yeah, he's got a long sword and a. Oh, what's a jigger? <laughs> and a cloth armor there. Only boots one, though. That's very, that's very daring on a Cogmore. Only a boots one. But yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll see Frey try and push this one. It was almost uh, almost an engage there, but we managed just to extract him out fight in time. I thought he was actually going to ult onto that poor under level the Mumu, but looks like they didn't want to go there. Looks like they might be grouping up here to push mid, and I I, I really like this move. Um, again, I think I think you're in a great advantage. My oh, might be able to catch Jonathan. I'm kind of like, who can I kill? I really want to kill people. I have a death cap at 15 minutes. It's like I'm playing solo queue. <laughs> I'm duck mining over the wall here. No, it's just going to miss. No. Oh no, he's going to go around. Oh, nice juke there from my Mumu. We're following Gangplank, apparently. There we go. So yeah, definitely grouping up to take this mid turret here. Um, they feel strong. Um, they feel ahead. As you only with a BF sword. Uh, Cogman at that far ahead. <laughs> that wits in, but look like he's going more of an attack speed uh, on hit effect build, which isn't isn't too bad on, on Cogmo. It's definitely cost- I uh, don't like wits end or malady is definitely cost effective. And the shred definitely does help with stuff like Madras Bloodraiser. You know, the bit of extra defense is, uh, helps you as well. Certainly, um, tankier Cogmo builds have been quite popular. Because uh, again, he has very little escapes. Actually, he has no escapes and only a slow to help him, to help to save him. Morgana here seems to be zoning the entire team, just throwing down pools everywhere. I guess she's got a blue buff. She just wants to show off. <laughs> I'm duck mining and missing the Amumu who's coming through. Frey just really dominating inside of the jungle. I guess they're trying to pick and engage uh, in a small space. Ah, no, they're covering for dragon. Really nice work there. You're doing a gangplank, gonna two man dragon, no problem. Again, it was coming up as I said about 21:30. Be coming up again at about 28:50 if we get there. Oh, 27.50, my bad. 28 minutes or so. Yeah. See, Kingpin's writing in a chat for me, just so I, just so I don't don't forget. Morgana still still picking it off. <laughs> nice black shield there to dodge a Jonathan tornado. Looks like they're just farming as, as much of the side as possible, trying to cut off... Trying to cut them off from as much of the map as possible. Ooh, I saw a ping on a Baron. That... That's not a bad idea. Oh, Malphite here chasing a movie, but he's not going to go for it. Looks like they're going to rush straight to Baron now. There's... I mean, there are no words on this side of the jungle for... Uh, for Man, Matt something? Oh, I'm sorry. Matt Lloyd. There we go. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so, and they're afraid of face checking. Oh, they're going to come through now, but they are on the Baron. Ba Baron? Baron. They are onto Baron now. Doing it very quickly there with that Cogmore. Oh, and a CV there. They, can, they know what's up. It is getting really, really low. Garen's going to flesh in. Oh, Ezreal tries to steal it, but doesn't get there. And just everyone dying. Morgana, I think, flashing over to kill, kill a bunch of people. No members of Fnatic are dead, except Morgana just just now does go down. Ezreal Arcane shifting away. Malphite's going to chase him there. If he can Q him, it's probably a dead Ezreal. Ah, oh, Udi's coming on like crazy. Nice Duke there from Ezreal, but he's going to die. No, he's not. Whoa! Oh, he just gets picked up by the Ignite from Malphite. Obi there just picking up that kill. Nicely done. And wow, that was crazy. I mean, you saw... I guess Fnatic already knew they could do Baron quickly enough. And even though Israel did try and steal it, I believe, presumably a smart use there from UD to pick it up, and that looks like it. <laughs> Israel in chat having a bit of a rage. <laughs> but yeah, this is a, that mid turret's gonna go down to that Baron, and this turret's gonna get absolutely crushed. Udi somehow, Udi being Udi, getting all his health back after that fight, no problem, even though he had none to begin. <laughs> had none. All members of Matlade are up again, though. They're not gonna push on this inhibitor. Kong almost getting caught by a pillar of flame, that would have been bad. You're tanky, buddy, we're not that tanky. And of course, Madrid's, yeah, as I thought, Madrid's and uh, Witsend coming out for Cogmo now. So might be picking up some boots too now. I've been very impressed by this Boots 1 build, but I guess he's confident in his teammates to be able to to be able to protect him. And he hasn't died yet, so he's been doing a really good job. Matlet now coming down the mid, trying to get some counter push on. They haven't got the inhibit in their mid tower. So if they can win a team fight here and regain some control, um, yeah, that might work out, but we'll have to see. Bot lane looks like it's pushing for Matlet as well. 
But it looks like they're going to back off and not try, any, not try to push. I, I might have tried to push. Morgana is lurking around, I guess, but uh, they're just trying to secure their inside of the jungle. Get some map control back. They should definitely get some wards out. Uh, I see a couple of wards in inventories there, but uh, I don't know if they're on the, I can't really see them on the map. Oh, of course I can't see them on the map. I am smart. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully they get some wards out as well. Wow. Totally, totally wish you suspected him, guys. Sadly not. <laughs> Anywho, we've got a three members of Frenetica right here heading up to top. He catches the brand with his ultimate. Morgana's looking for blood. Oh, Speedy Morgana coming at you. Shirley's reverie as well coming out. Oh, nice black shield that it dodged a whole bunch of stuff, but it was a trap. I'm moving that looking ultimate. Morgana just Morgana just cutting his mouth like tanks for a kingpin coming around the back here to see if he can pile some squishies in the face. He will do some damage with band buff, even though he's a support only. Gonna catch Garen there, no problem with perma slows, but they gotta be really, really careful here. It is a 4v3. Nice flesh over the wall there. Malphite does pick up Garen, no problem, who is quite low. And Morgana's just gonna ultimate here and just devastate some people. Brand gets crushed, Janna gets crushed, Ezreal gets crushed, Amumu gets crushed. Triple kill for Malphite! Wow. And a quadra kill for Malphite. Well played. So that Ezreal's running away with like none of his life left. <laughs> Please don't die! Please don't kill me now! I think he's just gotten away. So good he's duking his cog when they're fucking that scouting shots. They did find him! Oh, he's gonna get shot in the face. Gangplank wants to kill you, son. Boom! And there's a dead. And there's an ace for Frenetic Array and one dead Ezreal running away with about 10 health. Alright, uh, I think that's gotta be it. It's 21 to 5 there for Frenetic Array. Really nice job just dominating these team fights. That Morgana, I think, is just. both. Actually, both their souls, Morgana and Malphite, just provided an absolute ton of damage. Tons of damage, yes. Yes, guys, tons of damage. You do this. Split pushing bot, no problem. Oh! Members of Matlow Dara, Frenetic Array, do have to be careful. They don't want to have a bad engagement, so they just game away for no reason. But I think one is on this Baron I mean, out there, I guess defensively, they're trying to get Morgana away from them, but uh, Malphite's just chasing people down, doing, doing as he does. With his uh, Phage, his Randy Wins, and all his armor. And yeah, <laughs> what can I say? They're under the Nexus turrets now. There's a, a bottom inhibitor there. If I guess if they ever lose this fight, then there's a bottom inhibitor they can take. And uh, people just getting picked off left and right. Wards being spammed out everywhere. It looks like the GG. <laughs> looks like a little bit of little bit of mana, mana wards coming out from Frenetica Ray there. And uh, <laughs> they're trying to get kills instead of win. No, okay, they're going to go into the Nexus now. And it's GG. Nicely done. Frenetica Ray, Gangplank, of course, suiciding directly into the fountain. The mana suicide always good, and an absolutely awesome game there from Fnatic Ray. Uh, we'll be casting some more of these guys. I'll be casting the uh, as many games as they gave me from this qualifying tournament. So don't go away. I'll be casting some more. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you very soon.